I'm Josh Catino from the Gold Coast. Joshua <laughs> Catino. Like Casino, but with Casino. a T. Isn't it? That's going to confuse me. Imagine if you go Castino. Castino. <laughs> um, my first ever stand up spot was a raw heat before COVID. And then from my first laugh, I was like, all right, this is what I want to do. I've never, ever been told to wear makeup. It's actually really upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully it goes well post five o'clock and then I think I'll just die afterwards. I'm just riding an adrenaline wave. Give it up for Joshua Gatino! Thank you, thank you. It's nice to be here. I know we all say that when we come out on stage, but I really mean it, because if you look like me, a comedy stage is the only place where you can bomb and it won't end up all over the news tomorrow. <laughs> Australia announced recently we'd be taking on more refugees from Afghanistan and that made me feel really good about our country. What didn't make me feel so good was finding out we just sent the last lot to Perth, which is already a lot like Afghanistan. Both places are desert hell holes where men with big beards guard all the natural resources. <laughs> and for some reason, there's harsh border restrictions even though no one wants to go there. <laughs> the leader of the Taliban's a scary looking dude. He looks like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Then you have our fearless leader. Our guy looks like a pudding. <laughs> he doesn't look like anyone would die for him. He looks diabetic. That's a problem with leaders of the Western world. Our way of life right now is being threatened by hardened war criminals, and they look like the cast of The Office. <laughs> Germany had Angela Merkel, who I'm sure we can all agree is not the scariest leader Germany's ever produced. <laughs> France has Emmanuel Macron, which just sounds like something you find in a glass case at a patisserie. And the UK's got that guy who looks like he wears his dad's suit to work <laughs> with his blonde mop of hair. What kind of grown man has that hair colour? Or that haircut, by the way. He's got the girth of a 60-year-old man and the trim of a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> he looks like he finished high school 10 minutes ago or 35 years ago at the same time. <laughs> and don't get me started on the guy in the White House, Grandpa Joe. It's unsettling to think the leader of the free world probably has to wake up eight times a night to pee. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even make it out of bed after the third one. <laughs> I never thought I'd relate to anything Pauline Hanson had to say until I realised the way she feels about immigrants is the exact same way I feel about older people. <laughs> they can't drive. They eat weird food. They only hang out with other people like them. If we'd invented time travel, I'd even be telling them to go back to where they came from. <laughs> now that air travel's back, I'm sure we're all excited to catch a flight to literally anywhere, yeah? Yeah. That excitement's gonna wear off in about the time it takes for a baby scream to reach your allocated seat. So I think to add to the experience, they should get rid of tickets altogether. Just make it a sprint from your car to the plane. First come, first served. Because that way you get rid of all the slow walkers in the airports and those morons who hold up the boarding queue because they can't figure out which way to shove their duffel bag into the overhead locker. And then when you get there, you just swipe your credit card and a little screen will tell you how much balance you have left. And if you run out of money before you get to the other end, you just drop out the bottom of the plane like a James Bond movie. <laughs> Wherever you land, that's your holiday. <laughs> so Catholic priests, <laughs> this isn't going where you think it is. You won't like the ending, though. I don't think they should be allowed to read out of a book. If you do the same weekend job for 30 years, <laughs> you'd think something would stick. I think women would make much better priests. Plus, I found out recently that priests get paid. So don't we all want more female representation in the workforce? Yeah. yeah. I think it's a great idea, especially because you won't have to pay them as much. <laughs> Only 70 cents to the doll. I told you you wouldn't like it. You guys have been excellent. Thank you. The adrenaline rush from the whole day and then... No, it's over. <laughs>
<laughs> Felt really good. Everything where I was expecting a laugh hit, so even some bonus ones in there, so that was great. I had a good time anyway, that's all I really care about, to be honest. <laughs>